again. Uh, welcome back to a new video. Um, today, um, hopefully this video will be more positive than the last channel news update. I was, uh, let's just say I was kind of just upset about the whole FTC situation, but hopefully this one will be much more positive. I'm going to demonstrate the physics, bullet physics test today, and hopefully you guys like it. Um, uh, before I show it off, let's kind of look at the source code. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's gotten a bit long. <laughs> Just kind of slowly go through this real quick. Yeah, I had to implement several things for graphics because, well, I don't have a framework to help me with that. So there's graphics code in this. There's physics codes, um, I decided to not load up meshes because I just wanted to do it real quick, and I now remember how to like make a sphere and, um, without loading up mesh, um, yeah, let's get past this, here's the bullet physics stuff, um, And just to let you know, I haven't touched bullet physics in hmm, about f maybe s four years now. They did a lot of changes. They haven't really, it hasn't really changed that much, but it was kind of a fun uphill battle to relearn it. Um, one thing I did discover is that you need to, um, this is just kind of like a suggestion when you're dealing with a physics API. Um, it's best to make it to keep the um, frames kind of like just consistent. So if you're doing timing and that sort of thing, um, do fix timing rather than um, I'll probably demonstrate down here real quick. Yeah, make a fixed timing function where it like updates like every 30 seconds or 60 seconds because if you don't do it that way, uh, the physics simulation will kind of get kind of wonky. Uh, just kind of my advice to you. Yeah, don't put your physics simulation in this type of update where you're giving it a delta because it will really wreck the um, physics simulation. Um, let's see here. Yeah, as, you, as you can see, I've did a lot of work. It's on a, I'm almost at 2,000 lines of code. Yeah, I've been working on this for a couple of days. <laughs> so yeah, let's um the controls for the demo is quite simple. Um I'll let you just look at this kind of um text file. It's gonna be included with the file download. So just have fun playing with it. So let's get started. Let me get to the folder bin and let's run it. Yep. Same demo from before. Um to reset it, you can just press the Q button and it will just reset it. You can do it a whole bunch of times if you want to. It does it at random. If you press hit the left click button, you can launch them. And kind of hilarious speed away f from where you're pointing at. This was me simply testing um, ray tracing which basically takes the position of the camera and launch and then I launch a ray toward the end of it to get the end point which is about 1024 kind of pixels or actually 1024 geo units away which is the um, as far as you can see um, to demonstrate this, I do have a debug mode, which you press F1, 
So let's hit this circle right there. And it shows you the lines. If you don't hit anything, it will just go all the way to like 1,024 geo units that way. <laughs> Somewhere. Okay. So let's disable that. If you click F F2, it will switch to like um, wireframe mode. And press F2 again, it will just do points. And if you do it again, it'll go back to the solids. Alright, so I demonstrated push mode, so let's press the number two button. This is pull mode, so instead it will pull toward you in a hilarious speed. <laughs> let's reset it and then try to grab the boop. There we go. Um, if you press number three, it will be in mass physics mode and it'll start launching objects around the screen, stuff like that. Um, if you press four, let me reset it. Now if you press left click, all of them will surround you in a very hilarious way and will knock you up. Set it. Now, if you press five, this enables grab uh, rigid body mode. So you can grab a rigid body and move it around. You can push other objects with it, like this. If you go to a different mode, it'll drop it. Let's go back to that mode. Click again. If you press the right button, it will launch it. <laughs> Unless you're way up in the air. I guess the only other functionality of this little demo is that you can jump. And you can go faster with E, which I need to remind myself to fix that. <sighs> yeah, just a pretty quick little demo. I've been working on for the past few days. Ah, I missed you. Come on. There we go. I think this is it for dem this demonstration. Um, for what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to um, probably start uh, before that. I've uh, on the previous video, which on BitChute, I'm not going to upload because it's just me being frustrated and I don't want to depress anybody on there. So I'll include a link to that video if you want to watch it. It's just kind of a depressing video. I don't really want to. I hope I hope I don't have to make another. I hope I will never make another video like that ever again. Well, my next sort of stuff I've decided to um, is focus on making some new demos so I can relearn OpenGL, SDL to do some additional built physics um, demos and also open AL so I can really just relearn how to do audio because I haven't done this stuff in years and hopefully that be some interesting t content plus hopefully you guys will gain some stuff um, the like this physics demo it's gonna be on github um, and there's a release for the binary these uh, new demos are gonna be uploaded there as well so hopefully you'll get something something from it and I hope to see you again and you all take care and have
have a good day.